What is good to the family? It's Ray J back with another video. In this, I want to break down what's going on with the Tesla, Spy, NVIDIA, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm going to break down what's going on with the economic calendar thus far and talk about some very important earnings that are coming out very soon. And all of this could affect Tesla and the markets moving forward. But before I break anything down all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo Moo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo Moo with the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, and the offer ends very soon. Anyways, now let's break down what's going on with the market. Looking at Tesla, we saw this thing gap up today very nicely. It was holding up, but then I told you all that we might see this thing come down to fill this gap. And we didn't just fill the gap, we actually dropped a little bit more towards this 190 0.5 area before we saw a small little defense by these uh, buyers and now we're just seeing tesla stuck in the 191s so the question is how will tesla move going forward what is going to impact it and what should we, we be watching for as time goes on i'll be talking about all of this in this video a little bit later on i just want to warn you all that uh, after the market closes today we have microsoft amd and alphabet all announcing their earnings the most important one out of those three is going to be microsoft in my opinion as that's the biggest one and we're going to find out more details about their earnings microsoft earnings is going to be key it's going to affect tesla the way tesla moves it's going to affect how spy moves the qqq and pretty much the entire market uh, but it's gonna have a bigger effect on the QQQ, of course, and the NASDAQ. So what's going on with them? What are we expecting? We're expecting $2.78 per share for EPS and a 60, uh, $61.12 billion in revenue and a growth of 16% in terms of revenue from a year earlier. We're also gonna be looking at their guidance. That's gonna be key for them. What will cloud growth look like? That's going to be massive. We're looking at 27.7%. We need everything to come in as expected or else, you know, this thing could just turn. We also need some very, very good uh, information. We're going to find out more about what's happening with their layoffs, more about their acquisitions, and also anything else about that. So growth is going to be key. Guidance is going to be massive for them. And we'll just have to see how they do. Whatever they announce is going to affect the whole market. Now, don't forget that for Alphabet earnings, that's also going to be coming out. That's like Google, aka Alphabet. And we have AMD later on. And then in terms of economic data, don't forget, guys, tomorrow, we have the FOMC meeting. We have Jerome Powell giving a speech. So expect some big moves in the markets starting from here on out. But now let's break down how things are looking at the market for now. The market's a little bit quiet. We have just about two hours left of trading. Tesla's just shuffling in the 191s. We have resistance at 192.5. Then above that, we have this 195 zone is the next resistance area. Uh, if we did break this, we could have easily pushed towards 197 and then eventually 200 into the 200s if we had broken up but we failed to do so thus far now despite tesla coming down we're still holding above 190 which is fine and we still have an uptrend right we mean higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low technically so we're still uptrending tesla is still fine we had a nice accumulation right here and i think that getting a little pullback was necessary we're going to be watching to see how well tesla holds now for the next two hours I'm not really expecting much. I'm just expecting a lot of chop. But then we're going to be watching to see how Microsoft and the other big tech earnings affect the whole market. If the market starts pumping tomorrow morning, this could help Tesla pump back to this imbalance at 194 and even higher levels. If the market starts to dump, this could cause Tesla to retest the 188 area. So be very careful with Tesla. There's a good chance it's going to hold up, though. So watch it very carefully. We'll see how big tech ends up affecting the whole markets. Here's why this is going to affect Tesla. It's because SPY and the QQQ will also be impacted. And here's what I'm seeing on the uh, SPY charts. Basically, on SPY, SPY is pretty much just range bound so long as it holds above 490. The five minutes, 200 EMA is key support. As long as we hold above this, we're going to be range bound, in my opinion. If we lose this, uh, I think there could be a risk of it retesting the 488s before trying to bounce back up. So I'll be watching this very carefully. Otherwise, we're just range bound. We're holding 490 and our resistance is 491.5 back and forth and back and forth and back and forth price action. Now, in my opinion, now, it might remain range bound for the rest of the day, but that doesn't really matter that much. Uh, we'll have to see what the big move is after Microsoft and Alphabet announce their earnings. If the market pumps like crazy, we could see SPY trying to make its way up to 492.5 to 493. And if we end up getting a dump after earnings, we could be watching for 488 or below that. So I'll be watching that very carefully just to be safe. 
As far as the triple Q goes, this thing is just shuffling very close to about 425, a little bit lower, going back and forth and back and forth. It's pretty much just stuck. There's not really a whole lot going on with this. Now, if we're bullish, and I think that this is going to be heavily impacted by Microsoft, we're going to be looking for a massive, massive move to the upside or a massive move to the downside. Now, right now, we're just shuffling in the 425s. And if we get a bullish move, we could be breaking all-time highs again if Microsoft explodes. All-time highs to 430 plus to be coming or we could be dumping below 420. I'll be watching this. Now, I forgot to mention this, but here's my warning for everyone. If you plan on playing Microsoft and Alphabet, you could make a lot of money, could work out very well, but at the same time, I'd recommend being very careful because you never know what these earnings. The same thing could be said about SPY and the QQQ and other tickers out there. I don't know what the QQQ is going to do overnight. It depends on their earnings. So the best thing to do is just wait and see. But I don't want to like kind of like guess and gamble. I know some people want to do that. It's your choice. But you could make a ton of money if you do choose the right direction, if you're willing to bet on you know the market pumping or not. It's your choice. But I just want to give you guys a warning. There are only two hours of trading left. You have two hours to exit your positions if you want to. If not, you could just continue to play them and things could still work out very, very well. So it's your choice, guys. We'll see how it goes. I just want the best for everyone. Uh, with that being said, I do anticipate the QQQ is going to pump all the way up to 430 plus or it's going to dump all the way down below 420. Uh, 420. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm expecting a very big move overnight. Then for NVIDIA, it's basically the same thing. It's kind of testing this imbalance around this 625 area. If we lose that, 619 is going to be tested. So I'll be watching that very carefully. If we lose 619, 617 is coming next in lower levels. If we start pumping even more, we're going to be watching for 628 to be tested and eventually 632 plus. As of right now, we're kind of shuffling in the 625 zone back and forth and back and forth. We're actually descending a bit. So it's looking a little bit more bearish, but just to be safe, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. I expect Microsoft to have a big effect on video as well we'll see what the big move is so if you want to hold overnight it's your choice if not it is what it is right it's all up to you guys now for apple stock we're looking bearish apple's continuing to collapse right here it actually lost 190 ended up lower than expected and now we're losing 188 so our next target i mean we have uh, 187.5 and 186.5 coming so we're just barely holding up right now we'll just have to see how well this can maintain its structure because it's still looking kind of bearish and i want everyone to be very careful with the big tech earnings coming out with a big drop we could see this thing approach the 185s a big pump can bring it back to the 190.5 plus area otherwise we are kind of stuck and still downtrending so it's still looking kind of weak so just be very very careful with that being said we have some massive earnings coming out overnight uh there's going to be a very big move we will see how things go so please remain calm cool and collected and if you don't want to play it's your choice guys it's your risk to take Please remain calm, cool, and collected and get ready for the big earnings that are coming out. I'll see you guys very soon in the next one to report it. Thank you and peace out.